Hi, this is Oli Duran with IBM Business Analytics Worldwide Team. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can get rid of some of the errors that you might be seeing with Planning Analytics Workspace. The key error that I'm talking about here is the 500 error that you might be getting if you start a new server. For instance, I just started this 24 retail server and uh, with that new server I'm getting an unable to fetch data for content tree, session cannot be established for this server, and a 500 internal server error. Now the main um, location or main issue that you will be seeing with this error is because your firewall is basically blocking your connection in order for Planning Analytics Workspace to be able to communicate with your TM1 server. Okay? For you to be able to fix that, we're going to start uh, our firewall and uh, add a new setting in there. Okay. So I'm going to go into my Windows environment in here and search for Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. And then what you need to add is an inbound um, rule in order for Planning Analytics Workspace to be able to communicate with your server. So for that, I'm going to just add an inbound rule here. Um, I already have a few rules in there um, for TM1. So basically, I can uh, just go ahead and edit those but for this in demo purpose I'm going to just create a new rule so you can see how it works. Uh, the, what I need to do is I need to enable the port number for this server so um, make sure that you have the tm1s config file ready uh, in order to be able to make this change and then you need to find where the uh, HTTP port number is first of all so I'm going to do a quick search uh, HTTP port uh, so the HTTP port number used in here looks like for this server is uh, 8014. Yeah, that's the default HTTP port that comes with the solution itself, with the sample itself. So I'm going to just go ahead and select the port in firewall, say next, and then um, one more time just to make sure, 8014. Okay, I'll go back in here, type 8014. Okay, that's the specific port that we need. Okay, so we'll allow the connection to that port. And I'm going to allow it for uh, all of these, but depending on your company's rules, you might only allow the domain or the pub, private, maybe not public. Okay, just say, um, so planning out XPA. Um, this is the 24 retail port, I'm going to say. Okay, and then say finish. Now as you do this one, make sure that that new uh, rule that you have added is also enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, check out my new rule in here. Oh, way at the top. All right. So it's PA24 retail port. It's enabled with that green check mark sign in here. Now, now that I have enabled in here, so all I need to do is go back to my planning analytics workspace environment and uh, try to connect one more time. So I'll just do a double click in here. I'll hit the plus button as you can see. Now I can connect to my Planning Analytics Workspace environment and I have access to all the cubes, dimensions, and any of the applications that is underneath 24 Retail. This is uh, a quick and easy way for you to fix that uh, HTTP 500 error. Thank you for watching and uh, let us know if you have any additional questions.